my brain was leaking. It was scary, you know, because whoever loses fluid from their brain, you know, I've never heard of nothing like that. Didn't even know it was possible. Not only is that possible, it had been happening to Gregory Philpotts for years. And for years, doctors back home in North Carolina had told him the clear liquid coming out of one nostril was allergies. One said it was pneumonia. One said it was acute bronchitis. And when the leak got really bad last Thanksgiving, Gregory did some research and found his way to Dr. Alfred Illoretta here at Mount Sinai, who diagnosed his problem as a leak of cerebral spinal fluid, probably due to some head trauma many years ago. What he's leaking is a fluid called cerebral spinal fluid. It's a clear fluid that bathes both the brain and the spinal cord to protect it from trauma as well as to keep it functioning and give it nutrients. Dr. Illoretta explained to Gregory that the leak was a potential route for bacteria to get into the brain, leading to potentially lethal brain infections. He proposed an innovative approach. After meticulous pre-op scans and planning, he would go through Gregory's nose to the site of the leak, using special scopes and a kind of GPS navigation system. We used what we call a graft. The graft was harvested from the inside of his nose, uh, and then we rotated, replaced that graft over the defect. Gregory's surgery was just nine days ago. He still has to take it easy for a while, but no more leaks. I feel like a million dollars, man. Dr. Illoretta told me that a brain leak can sometimes be confused with allergies, but the fact that it was coming out of just one nostril and all the antibiotics and antihistamines didn't help would be a reason to suspect a bigger problem. Gregory says he's now looking forward to getting back to what he loves, cooking. He told me he makes a mean jerk chicken parmesan. Dr. Max Gomez, TV 1055.